Hello, my name is Ian Holdsworth and I'm a senior Visual Studio 2010 consultant with Test House, the independent software testing specialist. Today I will be talking to you about coded UI testing. First off, it's probably best if I explain a little bit about coded UI testing or automated functional testing as it's sometimes called. Coded UI testing works by recording the user's interactions with the user interface. This recording it's then stored as a .NET project, as either c -sharp or VB.NET code, with some XML data. This code can then be modified, if necessary, by a programmer. Note that although this is a very simplistic view of the process, there are many organizations out there who do precisely this without ever even modifying the code. To reiterate, it can be as simple as hitting record, launching your application, performing some actions on the user interface, verifying that some property of some control on your user interface equals some value, closing your application, hitting the stop button, and then saving your coded UI test. Note that once the coded UI test has been saved, it is a very simple process to modify it, and probably the most common modifications are either to add a data source or to modularize the test. Adding a data source is very common and normally takes the form of replacing certain values entered during the test with those from the data source and likewise with the expected result. Modularizing should really need no explanation and it is simply the art of breaking into smaller component parts certain repetitive actions within the test into a single sub-module. For instance, if you have 70 tests that all start off with load application, click on search and find John Smith, and then perform various different actions on John Smith's record. You wouldn't record the launch application, click on search and find John Smith part 70 times. You'd record it once and then simply call that recording before performing any other actions. Note also that the background information about all the controls recorded in a coded UI test are stored, stored in a .UI map file in XML format and that these can easily be modularized as well which helps to speed up playback as the UI map file can be pared down to just the controls it needs to know about rather than having to search through all of the controls it has recorded since you actually started working on this project. The more advanced programmer who wants coded UI tests to be definable by somebody with limited technical abilities will often create a workflow. A workflow is a fairly generic term used in automated testing which simply refers to a normally fairly simple data-driven interpreter. This interpreter can be as simple as a list of coded UI tests in a CSV file for instance or as complex as a list of search properties to identify a control plus the actions to perform on that control and the control properties and validations that need to be performed. It can also include additional checks on back-end systems, e.g. verifying that the SQL database has been updated with the correct values. So that, in a nutshell, is how we define coded UI tests. However, when should we automate tests like this? Well, there is a drive in some areas of the Agile community that all functional testing should be automated. This to me is going a bit too far at the moment as currently none of the functional testing products on the market are sufficiently mature enough to do this even with great difficulty and also some applications are more testable than others even at the manual level. It all comes down to simple practicalities. Firstly and most importantly, does the application support automation? This sounds an awful lot simpler than it really is, as often the core application will support automation, however, it's some of its third-party add-ons may not. Secondly, how complex will it be to automate? This is often overlooked, as often the automation tester does not realize, until he's stuck in, just what a rod he's made for his own bag. And thirdly, how changeable is the application going to be? This simply put means, is it practical to spend two weeks automating tests when 70% of those tests will be obsolete in six weeks? 
In essence, it boils down to a few simple questions. Can it be done? Will it be practical? And will it last? In conclusion, Microsoft's coded UI tests give great capacity to spread automated regression testing into many areas that were previously in the purview purely of manual testing, and I look forward to Microsoft's continued efforts in this arena. For more information, please visit our microsite on www.th-ms.com or email our dedicated Visual Studio team at cells-visualstudio at testhouse.net.